people have asked me, what beach would you go to for a day trip? You know, like maybe two hours away. Now, most of these people asking are from the Sacramento region, so my answer is Bodega Bay. But if you live in San Francisco or the East Bay, my answer would still be Bodega Bay. What's the best beach to go to? Where can we have a picnic? Where can we eat? Here's how to spend a day in Bodega Bay. You will likely be coming from the south, so the first beach you come to is Doran Beach. But we'll talk about Doran Beach in a minute. Let's say you get into town around 10 or 11 a.m. and you're hungry. Maybe it's time to get some early lunch. Stop at either the Fisherterian or the Tides Wharf and Restaurant. If it's just the two of you traveling, I would suggest the Fisherterian. But if you have your whole family with you, I would suggest the Tides. Now we are more familiar with the Tides. On the Tides property, there is the Inn at the Tides, which we have stayed before and it's wonderful, but this is about a day trip for this video. Across the street is a restaurant, shops, and a large restroom. The food is good and there's an extensive menu and beautiful views of the harbor. May we also suggest the Bird's Cafe. Now we can really only suggest the Bird's Cafe if you get into town early. There is limited parking. There's an outdoor patio though and you can get beer battered fish and chips, awesome onion rings, deep fried artichoke hearts, and clam chowder among other items. Now you order inside and then pick up your meal. You can see the parking, it's a small parking lot, it's to the right of the cafe itself. While on the theme of lunch, another option is to drive to the marina and check out the very popular Spud Point Crab Company. Now to get there, you're gonna to wanna to head to the marina. So just up from the Bird's Cafe a little bit, you'll see this sign that'll say, Bodega Head, Westside Park, and the marinas. There's gonna be a little bit of traffic. That's because everyone's yielding to the oncoming traffic as they're gonna make a left here on East Shore Boulevard that will get you to the marina. You will wind your way around the marina. Spud Point is a cafe known for its clam chowder, seafood sandwiches, chili and hot dogs. It is always busy and expect to wait in line. Now, parking could be tough too, but there is the Spud Point Marina across the street. Not sure if there's a charge to park there or not. And you can see there's a little bit of a parking lot and parking on the street is free if you can find a place. Now our suggestion too is to maybe get something to go from Spud Point Crab Company and just drive up the frontage road here. You know, like I said, take the food to go, pack a picnic and enjoy maybe Campbell Cove Beach, the Bodega Head Trail or the Bodega Bay Trailhead. There's parking lots at all three of these places. After lunch, go ahead and take a nice little hike. Here are our friends Paul and Brittany from Choose California Adventure on their day trip to Bodega Head. If you'd like to see more about Bodega Head, check out their video. Now, let's get back on the road and exit the marina area. Drive up Highway 1 and check out the beaches. Along the Sonoma County coastline, there are a number of beaches to check out. All these green icons represent a beach. All of these beaches are free. A couple of beaches we prefer along this drive is Schoolhouse Beach and neighboring Portuguese Beach. 
they have bigger parking lots and vault toilets. No matter how busy it can be on a weekend in Bodega Bay, you will find parking at one of these beaches. Before we go any further, at any of these beaches along this drive, you do not want to get in the water. We cannot stress enough how dangerous the surf is at these beaches. Do not let your children get even ankle deep into the water as they can be swept away. If you want to see more about the dangers of the Sonoma coastline, check out our video here that we did. Really, the only beach in Bodega Bay where you can safely get in the water to surf or body surf is Doran Beach. Doran Beach is the most family-friendly beach because of the calm waves and the number of restrooms available. And there are showers as well to rinse the kids off. If Doran Beach is your destination for the day, and you approach coming in on Highway 1, you're going to see this sign up to the left of the turnoff. It's going to tell you whether the lot is open or full. The cost is $7 for the day at Doran Beach. There's camping there, so that's why there's a fee. There are three, I'd say, main camping areas in Bodega Bay. Doran Beach, Wrights Beach, and Bodega Dunes. All have a fee for day use. Here's why we enjoy Dunes Beach. We have a state park poppy pass, and it's less crowded because many people often prefer the free beaches. Here's our video on Bodega Dunes Beach. So you can spend an entire day exploring Bodega Bay, and if you pack your own lunch, other than gas, you don't have to spend a dime. We hope you found this video helpful. Please leave a comment and give our video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching Sippy Cup Adventures of Northern California.